Hey, hello, happy Thursday, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for May 16th, 2019. We're using Bonefire Tarot. My guides are asking me yet again to remind you to check out your favorite astrologers on YouTube and watch a video uh, that you're guided to by, uh, excuse me, about the upcoming Scorpio full moon, which is on Saturday the 18th. All right, we had a shuffled bonanza here today with the with bone fire. Um, really active cards. We've got three from the bottom of the deck. We've got a few extra here. So let's get into it. This is a theme of energy in the day, cards from the bottom of the deck. Something to um, be mindful about. Oh, cringe alert. Three of swords. <laughs> Ew. All right, this is this is an energy that's being mm, revisited. That's my feeling. Uh, we're looking to the past. Hmm. There's always a silver lining in this card. Um, it looks pretty bleak, though. Pain, loss, and sorrow on those swords, penetrating the heart, getting to the heart of the matter. Uh, let's see what comes with it. <laughs> yeah, another cringer, five of coins. This is where we've left ourselves out in the cold, have not sought the sanctuary of our own heart space. But if it's feeling like that, hmm, that's not looking too welcoming. Let's see what comes with it. The Hierophant. This is a healing process. This is something that's rising to the surface for attention, the emotional surface. It's looking for release. It's looking for a way to go, to be let go of. You know, for the past couple of days, uh, in the Angel Answer cards, we've seen the Let It Go card. So, this is temporary. And the reminder here is... Feeling it doesn't necessarily make it real. <laughs> In other words, it doesn't have to become the now story. That was then, this is now, and this is an opportunity to heal from this. The Hierophant, though, I'm really guided more to those of you who are in a supportive role in the healing arts, in whatever way that takes shape for you. This is the theme you'll be seeing with your clients, your people who seek you out for your unique gifts to help them let this go. Of course, it's not just specific to the healing arts either. I mean, however you are in a supportive role, you may be encountering this in more than one person today. And it's your compassion and your kindness that uh, can make a difference for that person, how they receive what you have to share. Your brand of compassion, your brand of kindness can help them over this, mm -hmm. through this. Let's see how it connects to the rest of the reading. We have the lovers. A choice, a decision. All right. When we see the lovers, we want to take a look at how we make the decision that's in front of us today. So there's our heart's desire, and then there's the belief system, Hierophant, that we have adhered to <laughs> somewhat unconsciously, and make our decisions from there. So when I see the Hierophant, sometimes my, my inner rebel rises because this is a card of conformity, tradition, um, values that are passed to you from peers and elders. So do you just adopt those values, those beliefs? Because certainly most of us do in our young life. But when I see the Hierophant, the inner rebel rises and says, challenge that thought. Push yourself to think a little bit differently about it. Um, are you taking someone else's word for how it's meant to be? Or are you listening to your heart's desire? So, let's see what the cards have to say about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. I 
get the Six of Cups. Lovely card. There is an energy of repetition on this. It has a connection to the Wheel of Fortune. So this is something on the return. And that's what I feel is over here in these two cards, the three and the five. There is something on the return. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's looking for a way out. Something to be let go of. And it's possible that a long-held belief has been keeping it here. Keeping it in place. So with the Six of Cups here, it would be easy to do what you've always done because that's known, that's comfortable, that's familiar. But this is not comfortable. And nor do we want to give it any further familiar space in our heart space. So something different has to be done. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a healing process. Allow for that. Now, next card. This would be our heart's desire. Oh, here we go. Interesting, we get the Two of Cups. Two of Cups and the Lovers. This is a partnership for love, for career, within your own relationship to self. I'm seeing this and I feel renegotiate your terms <laughs> with your own self. Um, there's something habitual here, something conditioned here in these, the three and the five. And it feels a bit like mental torture. The swords are about thoughts and words. They're strong air energy and this card feels like an old vulture thought program, the hamster wheel running and causing more harm than good. So renegotiate your terms. You've got the lovers and the two of cups and the six of cups. This is the soulmate card. We've seen this one a lot recently. Um, and the message that's been coming off this card is be your own best soulmate. So renegotiate your inner relationship. Whatever is holding you here is likely part of a belief system that's been handed to you. You made it your own and it's caused a lot of discomfort. So this is an opportunity to do it differently. So here's a for instance. Um, I'm listening to my guides. <laughs> they say the best way to get this point across is through taking a look at prior relationships. So if you've got a prior relationship that ended like this, and then you felt like this, and then you go at relationship again, and it ended like this, and you felt like this, a pattern emerges. Pattern. <laughs> Conformity. So it feels as though um, relationships are emotionally dangerous. So your, your experience aligns with the story you've been told, a belief system you've witnessed, something you've been shown by more than one person, because you're not alone here. Each of us has gone through this, and each of us has had our day, or five, <laughs> of feeling like this, crying like that. And then making declarations to the self, like, doesn't he look like he's making a speech? So we have this inner speech of, I'm not doing that again. I'm not going there again. That's not happening to me again. But then you continue to come back to this feeling and then this feeling. And what's happening is that our own heart space, which is this beautiful sanctuary here represented on this card, calls out to us and we don't step in there. We stubbornly sit here on this cold, snowy step with our head down sad. And this is what really awaits us inside our own selves. So, two, two of cups. Renegate, renegotiate those terms. Six of cups. Higher self. Blessing earthly self. Be your own best soulmate. That's the choice here. And as you know, doing this creates better relationships, your family relationships improve, your friendships improve, because your heart space is wide open. 
It's not frozen out here on this step, creating loneliness, sadness. Hmm. What's sad is that we do we do carry this around with us, um, but the discomfort of looking at it, that's what brings tears to the eyes. So the invitation here is to allow that so that you can let it go, so that you can live like this, like this, and like this, and so much more. Okay, love yourself. Next card. Ooh, I don't want to go this direction. I want to go this direction. Oh, nice. Okay, you all know it. I rarely have reversals in my decks. <clears throat> the tarot cards are complex. So complex. I, you know, reversals are a rarity here. Anyway, uh, so when I get one, I pay close attention to it. So we have the four of coins in reverse. Let's turn it right side up. So here's the emotional miser. I'm going to sit here on this dead branch with, <laughs> with my four coins and I'm not moving. I'm not going forward. I'm going to stay here in resistance, stubborn refusal, and deal with this pain. Um, that's in reverse. We're letting that go. Beautiful. Congratulations. I'm patting you on the back for it. I like that. It is a card of withdrawal and it is a card of resistance, not moving forward and a lack or scarcity mentality. But this is what's in the heart space. This is what we are leaning into. It's all this beautiful, yummy love that we have for our own self, our own life. The lover's card inspires me to be mindful and grateful for all the things that I am in love with in my life. And when I find myself here, <laughs> I haven't been adventuring enough. So allow yourself to have this day and let it go. And then go out and adventure and be free. Okay, next card we have Queen of Coins. Oh, she's been showing up a lot. The mother of the material. The mother of resource. Um, <clears throat> she's one of my favorite queens. Kings and queens bring us self-mastery. Their qualities are uh, qualities that we can begin to master or continue to master in our own selves. She's a master manifester. So she's going to take a look at situations like this, what we're witnessing here, what we may be feeling here in the day. Uh, and... For those of you, again, in the supportive role, this is something that you may be seeing repeatedly. Um, but she's going to take a look at all of that, and she's going to reverse engineer <laughs> her manifestation. So her thought is, what can, what can come out of this? What is the silver lining to this Three of Swords? What have I learned? What have I gleaned? How valuable is that? Where can I take it? And she's going to begin to craft her dream for her life in the opposite direction of this. So she's going for her cake and she's going to eat it too. Oh, matched set, king of coins. He's shown up a lot lately too. Uh, I think this is the second or, no, this is the third time this week we've seen the king of coins. He's one of my favorite kings because he's often overlooked. He has so many amazing qualities. Number one, he's a visionary. Everything he's doing in the now, and this is something for us to, um, to master. Everything he's doing in the now is going to bring reward in the oncoming. So this is a king who is solidly in his heart space, and he knows that the choices he makes are based in love. And that love is going to continue to create reward for him as each moment passes. So we have the harmony of the masculine feminine in the suit of coins. So I'm feeling divine masculine, excuse me, divine masculine, divine feminine in each of us is getting, <laughs> I'd love to see the justice card here, getting their scales balanced today. So this is very healthy. 
uh, this three and this five, um, taking a look at that because they're on one side of the scale and then there's all this love on the other. And I wouldn't say that's even balanced. Maybe if we throw this four in there, it balances, but we're heavy on the love side rather than the emotional raw side. That means that we have the strength to do this kind of inner work and set ourselves more and more free. Let's see what's next. The Hermit, Illumination, Enlightenment. Mm. Perfect card, really, because we're doing the inner work here. We're shining our own light. We are recognizing that we are the sanctuary. This is the soft place to fall right into your own self. <laughs> I love that. I love that because it gives us the joy, the happiness, the willingness, the encouragement to actually want to extend that to other people. When we have it within ourselves, we can't help but shine this light and share it with others. And then we have perfect, the fool, the adventure. Um, One of the qualities that I most admire in the fool is no fear of consequences. The fool just goes for it. There's inexperience with the fool, um, but this isn't judged. This isn't, well, I'm going to sit here on the bench and on the sideline because I don't know all about this. No, the fool just goes for it. And that's, that's really the wild spirit that's in this reading today. You may have had this repeatedly. But you have the strength, the endurance, and the grit to get over it and to move on and to construct, to build a life of your dreams, your goals, and to share your beautiful soul light. And it's, a, it's that beautiful soul light that inspires this kind of adventure and joy and experience. So the fool is always about to walk off a cliff of some sort and... Um, the fool isn't thinking about a safety net either, but all the good and right things unfold for the fool, <laughs> even the Three of Swords. So there it is. I like this reading. This is beautiful inner work, all geared towards setting yourself, <laughs> setting yourself free and shining your love light. It doesn't get much better than that. If that's what comes out of the ashes of this BS over here, be grateful for this life experience. Be grateful for those, um, those moments because they have enriched you and made you an incredibly miraculous being. Um, without this, you would not have the contrast for this kind of love of self. All right. Angel Answers. This is your opportunity ask a question if you've got one. Oh, <laughs> they're flying out of the deck. We've got in the near future again. <laughs> Gosh, that card cracks me up because there is no sense of timing here. Again, it could be one minute, one day, one month. But in the near future, let's just say what we're doing in the now, King of Coins, brings oncoming reward. So, the near future is right now. <laughs> and the reward is right now. Next card. Don't stop. Emphatically, don't stop. Keep going, don't quit, don't give up on yourself. Do not throw in the towel. Sanctuary is within you. You might need to pause, take a break, wipe the sweat off your forehead, because this isn't necessarily simple. It's quite a complex process. And when someone says, let it go, uh, yeah, sometimes that sounds diminishing. Uh, however, it is the most powerful thing you can do for yourself. Do you want to linger here? No, nobody does. So don't quit, don't stop, don't give up, ever. Just keep going. Be like the fool. Alright, next card. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so we have you're ready. You're more than ready. But right underneath that was let go. <laughs> That card is just too much this week. I think that's the third time now. All right. What else do we want to do? I feel like I feel like we could do one of the fortune reading cards. Why not, right? Why not? Oh, that's cool. All right, we're going for this one. Celebrations. First three words. You are ready. You're ready. You're ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Yes, Queen of Coins, King of Coins, matched set. This is a great manifestation card, fool. This is where you're headed. This is what you're doing. You're letting go. <laughs> so you can do all that great stuff. Uh, last card, affirmation from the universe has your back. What have we got here? Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Oh, nice. Hermit. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. Yeah, this is of the highest good. Letting this go. Finding your inner rebel. <laughs> Setting yourself free. Embracing your wild spirit. I say emphatically yes to all of that. All right, everybody. Again, happy Thursday. Check out the astrologers on YouTube. My guides are really pushing that message. Apparently, there's something of great value for us in this upcoming full moon. Well, there always is, but they're really pushing on it this time. So uh, do some full moon manifestation work. Get out your candles. Get out your um, your list uh, your manifestation list, your intentions, goals, dreams, put it out there, light a candle, put it in the full moon, set it on fire, uh, something. Have fun with it. Um, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting here on the channel. Very much appreciated. If you'd like your own personal reading, because that story is different from this one, check the description box below and make it a great one. Bye for now, everybody.